Hi folks, here we are with another combination of SOP solver in Houdini. Honestly, this day I'm fighting with Houdini to combine solver in SOP level. Today we're going to look at Vellum and Bullet in Houdini 19.5. Hi, this is Dyson. Glad to be here. I hope you're enjoying this series of combining sub solver in Houdini. Honestly, that's damn hard to do in simple way. So we keep going. If you missed this video, that was Vellum and Pyro. That was a cool tutorial in my opinion. Today we're gonna look at how we can achieve this effect with bullet object and pyro cloth. Obviously, you can use the previous method so i want to offer new method to have many possibility okay let's dive in first let's have a sphere and let's bring it up now let's create material fracture rbd okay we're gonna use default setting now let's create bullet solver let's have a ground plane and decrease the constraint okay we have this simulation. In our first attempt, we're not going to use bullet solver. Instead, we're going to use vellum solver. So let's delete that and let's create connectivity to have point name attribute for the pieces. Yes, I know we have primitive one. So for simplicity of this idea, we're going to create connectivity. Okay, let's name that to my names, for instance. Okay. Now let's create Vellum Constraint, nice, and we're going to put the type to Shape Match, that's so important here, Shape Match, okay, now let's create Vellum Solver, let's enable Ground Plane here, and let's play, and that's simulation with Vellum Solver. Okay, now let's have a simple cloth. Let's create grid here. Okay, let me see that. Okay, nice. Let's increase the resolution. And now we have a little bit thickness. Let's create poly extrude for that. Okay, now let's increase this and output back to end cap. Nice. Now let's remesh that to have cleaner topology. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, maybe that's good. Now let's have vellum cloth constraint. Nice. And let's connect this to cloth constraint. Okay. The collision, go to collision, constraint, and the geometry. Okay, now let's play and see what we have. Obviously, the cloth is falling. Let's attach this one to geometry. Let's create vellum constraint. Change the type to attach to geometry. Nice. Let's copy this grid and connect that to third input. Nice. Let's decrease the resolution. We don't need that much. And let's go here and select this primitive with holding the shift key and in the end hit the enter key to confirm that nice let's play and see what we have now okay the cloth is not falling that's not good let's see let's change that to point and let's go to top view here Again, nice. Let's select this here and with holding the shift key, let's select that and hit enter. Okay, and let's play. Not falling again. Yeah, yeah. It's from the collision object. Let's bring this down. Okay, we have this attachment. So let's disconnect this collision and let's play and voila now we have simple cloth 
Okay, before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, please like it and subscribe for more content. And if you are art collector or if you want to support our community to grow, please check my NFT page here and help us to grow. That's mean a lot for us. Honestly, I am using the blockchain technology because it's simplicity and awesome smart contract future. Okay, let's back to the video. Okay, as you can see, we have two vellum constraint. In order to match these two, we're gonna pack this vellum constraint first. Let's create vellum pack here. Let's disconnect that and create vellum pack. Okay, let's connect the geometry and the constraint. Now let's merge these guys together. Okay. Now let's create vellum unpack to unpack the vellum. Okay. And let's connect the geometry and the constraint. Okay. And let's play. And that's worked fine. Okay, let me increase the frame range here and the size of this sphere. Okay, and let me play. Okay, that's work awesome. Okay, as you can see, we have this simulation. Nice. And I want to transfer the movement of these pieces to the original. We have these pieces now. Okay. With the pieces name here. Now let's create vellum transform pieces. That's the keynote here. The third input goes to the original and these two to the vellum solver and let's play and see what we have here okay this messed up because the pieces name let's copy that and paste it here and voila now everything is worked these pieces are the original pieces keep that in mind so let's See that we need the cloth from this simulation. Let's split the vellum solver here. Let's select all the pieces and let's replace that with that and let's invert the selection. Okay, that's so cool. Now we have the cloth. Nice. Let's merge these guys together. Okay, and everything works fine. Let's create color to see that clearly and let's give them the red and let's see okay that's nice that's approach number one let's see the another approach now let's look at another approach here let's say we have a bullet solver let me little a quick set up this bullet solver in meanwhile let's say we need uh, take advantage of bullet solver and for instance we have a building with that awesome of constraint like this video here and we're gonna combine that with a vellum okay let's see that okay first when you're using bullet solver that solver will pack all the geometry so for that we need to unpack that that's so important and as you can see we have all the geometry and let's have a ground plane on the vellum and let's test that okay this simulation done with vellum solver keep that in mind so now we're gonna divide the simulation by two parts the first part let's say at that 50 frame will be on the bullet solver and the second part will be on the vellum solver so for that let's create read time node here okay read time nice and let's change that to 50 okay as you can see from 0 to 50 will be on bullet solver from 50 will be on vellum solver so let's go to vellum and 
Turn that start frame at 50 and let's play. Okay, that's worked because Vellum shape match need frozen geometry. Okay, now let's pack and unpack that so quickly. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I have set up the simple grain to collide with our test geometry here. Okay, as you can see, that's worked fine. So now let's merge this simulation together. Okay, let's go here. Let's create merge node. Okay, nice. Let's connect this to this and the second one to connectivity. Let's play. As you can see, that's the bullet solver and that be vellum solver, but they intersect together. Let's solve that with switch node here and let's create null here. Okay, let's have a little expression here. Let's tell him if current frame less than 50, B1, please. Okay, less than 50. And as you can see, that will be one. Let's change that to here. That will be bullet solver. And from 50, that will disappear. And the vellum solver will be taking the place. Okay, as you can see, I have this box to collide with and I have another box full of fluid vellum. Okay, now I want to simulate floating object naturally. Let's go here and increase the density of the container. Okay, that's nice. That's the floating object. And if you miss the flip floating object, that's video here and I hope you enjoyed this one. Okay, as I mentioned before, the shape match constraint vellum need a frozen pieces. That's the same thing with vellum transform pieces. Okay, we need frozen pieces of this test object. Okay, for that, let's copy this switch node here. And let's connect that and change this order. Okay, we have the frozen pieces as you can see. Let's connect this to here. And let's change the pieces name in our case is class okay now as you can see that's work fine now uh, we're gonna split the grain here okay let's select our pieces all the pieces okay now let's invert that okay we have this grain and that's awesome Okay, now let's merge these guys together and that's the result. Okay, as you can see, I am trying to offer many techniques as I can. And if you have in mind, leave me a comment section below. Let's help each other. And in the next video, we're going to begin our journey in muscle Houdini. So we're going to use this basic vellum muscle. And until that, have a nice day. Goodbye.